Concrete, arguably the most eponymous construction material of our times. Composite substance, the fusion of aggregates bonded with water and cement that hardens over time. With its malleable nature, concrete opens up endless possibilities for organic and fluid designs. Whether in situ or precast, the form can be reproduced using reusable moulds. The playful penguin pool by Tecton and the elephant house by Casson at London Zoo, along with the National Theatre on the South Bank by Lasden, show the variety of forms, finishes and uses of concrete. At 80 Charlotte Street, we have used black polished concrete, which we unashamedly borrowed from the British Museum Extension by Rogers Sturk Harbour Architects. At the White Collar Factory and here at the Featherstone Building, we've embraced concrete called cooling, a clever yet straightforward concept. By integrating pipework within the concrete structure, we harness the mass for efficient cooling. This is a very energy efficient way of controlling the internal environment. For our next generation of buildings, we are shifting to earth friendlier concrete, which curbs cement and carbon costs. From the Ando inspired atriums at the Johnson and Angel buildings to white collar factories, polished columns, and board mark walls, our relationship with concrete has been an exhilarating one. At 80 Charlotte Street, we championed off-site fabrication for the boardmark concrete and glazed facade. This optimised quality and reduced on-site construction time. A masterclass in design and efficiency. We revel in the versatility of concrete, its warmth and play with light, and its endless finish options from polished or honed to bush hammered, boardmarked, its colours and tones, ever-changing with aggregate mixes, embody a freedom in design. A humble material, yet through creative minds, its sophistication unfolds in delightful variations.